sticking with the female boxing theme, uh, we saw Caroline Dubois in there doing pads and uh, are they called paddles? I always get this wrong, but... Sticks and sticks. paddles. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, there's foam sticks, yeah, just a reaction. Foam sticks. And she looked in great form, um, and I heard, overheard you talking to some of the newspaper journalists saying how much she's improved. Yeah. What, what areas do you feel she's improved in, and how far away is she from challenging for titles, in your view? Honestly, I think she's going to be best female, one of the best female fighters on the planet in the next 12 months. Um, you know, she, honestly, if not the next... She's there now, in my opinion. Um, and... She only spars men now. She doesn't spar any girls. We can't get any girls to come and do any rounds there. Um, she punches extremely hard, um, and she's she's calm under pressure now. Whereas a, a lot of times she's a panic, and not uh, not panic as in like because she was scared. It was just it, the amateur system is hit and not get hit, but you know do everything in your power not to sort of even give give one shot off. And it's like well, the professional game is you got to be a little bit calmer. You've got to give maybe one or two. Just don't get don't get hit with a big shot. So it's just, you know, the last year and a half, um, I think she's been in the gym, maybe maybe longer, um, come up to two years. So it's just get you know, get accustomed to, to, to being in that punching range and getting switched on there, but also not, and, and just settle your breathing down there and just get comfortable there. So, um, and I think over this over this whole time, she's, she's just got better and better all the time. And I generally, I think she's the most improved fighter in the gym, for sure. And her older brother, Daniel, of course, on the verge of a world title shot of his own. He's been nominated to fight Alexander Usyk. How do you feel about that fight? A lot of people saying it's maybe a bit too early for him. Uh, it's not really for me to say, to be honest. I'll, I'll, let them, I'll let the management talk on that one. Can you tell us about his kind of form in the gym, at least? Uh, no, not really. We're keeping it hush. Fair enough. Um, we talked about Azeem, uh, Adam, headlining in London the same night as uh, Scotney's world title shot. How's he looking in the gym and what's the plan for him for the rest of this year? Well, look, this guy's not a bad fighter. Um, he's ranked high, even though he's just sort of becoming active, but he's still, he's still ranked within the EBU. Uh, he's got a good ranking. Uh, he's only got one loss. Um, he's traditionally schooled that Ukrainian style. Um, and they're just, as we know, they're really tough and they've got a really good mindset, those, those Ukrainian fighters. So um, this is a big, not a big ask, but it's a, it's, a, it's a decent test. It's a very decent test for him because he's got someone firing shots at his head, um, can weather a storm. And, you know, even though his record doesn't suggest that he's, he dropped Timo Schwarzkopf, uh, Schwarz, Schwarz, uh, yeah, quite a few times. So um, he, has a, he has that underrated power. So it's a, it's a decent test at this stage of his career. And, you know, it will be, it'll be interesting to see how he gets on with this test. And then also it will give us an idea of where we're moving next. Um, so, you know, look, we... There's other promoters out there with their charges and stuff, and we don't really want to uh, sort of tell everyone and all our, our, about our plans that went and the speed that we want to move in. But you know, it's we've got to get the balance right. We're building the brand, building uh, building him as an individual star up. So then, when he does get to a fight for a world title, he's already on the verge of selling out arenas. And I'm not talking about just like. Yeah, we want to be t thinking about Wembley uh, Arena as our first one that we can sell sell out, and then we move on to the O2 and that sort of that, that sort of like. So, and that doesn't happen overnight; it happens over a gradual process. So, and you know, but you, you can't build a you can't build a, a huge fan base boxing guys that are that are nobodies and you're just blitzing them because you know boxing fans switch off. So. Yeah, we got we've got to get the right the right path, but it's you know it's not the first time that we've uh, you know we've 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 had this gig. So uh, we're and also you know we've we've got a fantastic platform that we're working with in Sky Sports, and that's that there. Just the viewerships are are it's it's unbelievable. So um, yeah, I think we've got a good a, a good blend. Um, it's got a team. You've got a team of experience and know how to manage fighters towards the top. It's got the perfect platform. And he's also a super, super talented lad that's got it all. So, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's going to be an exciting journey for sure. And just finally, uh, you almost worked with Tommy Fury when the Jake Paul fight was first scheduled. It now looks like he might be fighting KSI next. He seems firmly ensconced in that influencer environment now. Is there any disappointment on your part that he's not pursuing the traditional boxing route? He's clearly got some talent. No, I... I not really, because I hope he clears out all those Instagrammers <laughs> uh, or influencers, whatever you want to call them. Um, 
I hope he knocks them all out so then he can put them all off boxing and they don't have to continue to box. Because, as I said, the reason I took that, that gig on is because Tommy has some quality. You know, he's got a good jab, he's got a good right hand, nice lad, um, and knows that, that that there is the easiest. I mean, like, okay, do you want to box Linda Narfa? Do you want to box Anthony Yard? Or do you want to box Jake Paul and KSI and get paid five times as much? Five? 15, 20 times as much. Do you know what I mean? Well, that's a no-brainer. Clear all those guys out, and then at the end of it, you can see if he wants to go off and pursue a, a p- proper professional career. Or maybe he's made enough money he can sail off into the sunset. But either way, you know, I hope he's the guy that just um, puts a stop to it. Because I, I watched that. Sh- I didn't watch it. I, w- I watched some of the, the clips on it, and it, it's a bit embarrassing, isn't it, to be honest? You've even got, like, the rapper having a scuff outside and it just it just it's becoming far too much in my opinion and it's just we're giving them a platform to showcase their foolery really fair enough shane really appreciate your time